Hi, crypto fans. Welcome to CCL's Cryptocurrency Style. Today, we have a very important interview with Hong Wu Ye. He is the CEO and co-founder of GRBT. Thank you, Hong, for being here and give us your time um, to have this interview. Uh, my community, like you know, and we already discussed, is very interesting on the protocol. We have been covering CKSync before and the CKSync ecosystem. And GRBT is presenting itself as one of the leader CX right now on the space with many news. Of course, our community is very interested on the airdrop. So we are going to ask you uh, questions about airdrops, but sure. also about uh, ShareBT itself. So thank you for being here. No worries. And thank you for uh, inviting me. Really uh, appreciate this, uh, your, your time. Thank you. So tell us first about ShareBT. Well, what, what are the plans for the CX, the launch, uh, all the news? Um, you guys have been in the last uh, big event of token. Yeah. How was that? Okay, sure. Um, well, maybe I can give you a quick introduction of myself and the team that's uh, behind Gravity first, and then I can walk you through what uh, we're all about. So, yeah, so as uh, as you introduced me, uh, thank you very much. My name is Hong. Uh, I'm the co-founder and CEO of Gravity. Um, we also have two other co-founders. We have Matthew and Aaron. So I come from a, a, a trading background. So I used to be with Goldman Sachs uh, out of Hong Kong for, uh, and also Credit Suisse about nine, year, nine and a half years. Uh, and then uh, Matthew also, um, who's our COO, comes from our, um, I guess, from a, a also banking background. So he used to be with DBS uh, for a few years in Singapore. And uh, prior to that um, was uh, with GovTech out of Singapore. And then... Aaron, our CTO, um, he also comes from a traditional background. So he was with uh, Facebook out of the U.S. for quite a long time. And then um, recently was with uh, Crypto.com. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so now we are actually a team of, uh, I guess, 49 uh, people. So it's a pretty big team. And um, we at Gravity are building something called a hybrid exchange. So uh, you can also think of us as like a self-custodial centric exchange. Um, so it's a pretty... I guess a, a new concept that we're trying to uh, achieve where we're taking the best of, I guess, C5, or, or, or the traits of a central exchange and also the best traits of a decentralized exchange. So what does that mean? We um, take the, I guess, the efficient order book and um, the infrastructure of matching engines um, that's seen in a central exchange to make it more efficient for uh, an exchange to match trades but mm -hmm. the settlement uh, happens on chain, mm -hmm. so, i.e. it allows you and, and, and the individuals to be able to trade through self-custody. Uh, mm -hmm. And um, so there, therefore, the key thing is if the exchange disappears tomorrow, your funds are safe within your blockchain smart contract mm -hmm. kept by your keys. But everything else that you're interacting with the platform is very similar to a central exchange. And um, the key traits that we take from a central exchange are not just the order book. We also take, you know, the security measures of central exchanges. So, for example, you have passwords uh, and two-factor authentication on, on Gravity when you come in to uh, create an account. And um, on top of that, we follow the compliance and regulations of uh, many central exchanges um and of the global regulation so we are the first i guess um regulated d5 um exchange that we're seeking our first license out of bermuda and we hopefully will be able to get that in in a matter of weeks and um on top of that i i guess the user experience um is also very important uh all you know that we're taking from a central exchange so um typically decentralized exchanges are still very difficult to use right um so if you want to be moving funds from another exchange into DeFi, it's extremely cumbersome uh, i guess um you know you need to understand um bridging you need to also have uh i guess wallets and uh, in other ways you need gas so what we've achieved is that we wanted to make this whole decentralized experience as similar to a central exchange. So we've created ways for um, users to be able to deposit funds from another central exchange into Gravity Smart Contract um, with one single click without gas. Um, and we also have created um, Gravity Wallet to ensure that um, if you don't have a wallet and, and you want to um, be offered a wallet by 
the platform itself when you are creating an account, we also offer you that option. Um, and everything that you do within Gravity, whether it's trading, deposit, withdrawals, uh, everything is gasless. So um, that's another uh, key trait that make us a little bit similar to a uh, central exchange. Mm -hmm. Now, then what are we taking from the decentralized side? Um, I, I guess um, for us, the key uh, feature that we wanted to leverage was the self-custody and trustless uh, risk management side. Because that's the whole purpose of blockchain technology. So um, we allow you to uh, trade using your wallets or Gravity wallets and um, put your funds into smart contract. Um, and um, even if uh, the exchange disappears tomorrow, your, your funds are safe. And at the same time, all your risk, i.e. anything related to liquidations, margin management, all that logic is kept within the smart contract. So it is uh, purely trustless. Mm -hmm. So... Um, by combining these two elements, um, we are able to create an exchange that feels and looks like a central exchange, but is as secure or more secure than either of the both central exchanges and decentralized exchange. So that's a little bit about like the um, the platform itself. And we're launching our uh, perpetual order book uh, first, and then gradually we'll be expanding into options spot and many other things and i can walk you through a little bit more um in the future questions um that said um maybe i can also highlight to you about some of the stats that we have um sure. meaning what we what have we achieved as a platform so mm -hmm. we have been invested by mostly trading firms and also vcs right so when i say trading firms we've been invested by over 15 uh trading firms that are pretty big so we have um, in our cap table, um, you know, parties like Flow Traders or Pulso Trading or MetaAlpha, or um, also we have been, well, we have uh, close ties with and invested by uh, QCP's Darius and uh, many folks um, who will be the initial liquidity providers and also trading uh, partners on the platform. So we now have about 17 market makers and over 55 institutions already on board. Um, if you've seen some of our recent news uh, that was uh, published through Cointelegraph, we have over $3.3 .3 billion of monthly volume that's already committed. So we do have a pretty decent amount of uh, um, institutional uh, traction. That's an impressive number. Um, yeah, yeah. In just not faces with all the promises of the, of the exchange. Yeah, we covered yeah, exactly. we covered that news uh, in my last video. It's it's amazing. Sure. Uh, yeah, exactly. And and also, um, you know, this is all happening pre mainnet launch, right? So we we are only during um, you know, we're currently in our open beta phase. Mm -hmm. Um, so uh, the mainnet is around the corner, but um, we we were able to achieve quite a number of, I guess, uh, good achievements, especially in the institutional side. And on the retail side, too, um, um, we have now started uh, doing our KYC uh, to all our clients. Mm -hmm. And um, um, we have over now 2.5 million registered emails on our platform. Uh, and then the KYC numbers are continuously growing. Um, so, yeah, hopefully um, we will be able to have a very good, uh, successful launch. Yeah, well, KYC is one of those things that, like you mentioned, uh, GRBT is like the best from the CX and ADX. That is the part like many users are not so comfortable at this point, right, to do KYC. But it's, yeah, it's understandable that adds this layer of security that you mentioned, according to the regulations of each of the countries that you are trying to to sign in, in right? So, so I guess I guess I could also give you a quick um, overview on why we're doing KYC, right? I mean, um, look, for us, um, the primary focus is to ensure that our exchange is the safest exchange, right? And, and the goal for us is to be able to address as many type of clients or many, I guess, um, whether it's institutions or retail across as many regions as possible. Um, but at the same time, we want to be as compliant as possible. And, and the reason is this. Um, we see Gravity as a platform that um, wants to uh, build, uh, I guess, blockchain settlement across all type of financial assets. And um, this starts with crypto. And I think crypto is the most important, um, I guess, asset class for Gravity at this current moment. But in the future, um, we, we want to be able to uh, settle non-crypto assets too, uh, on the same exchange. And for us to be able to do that, we need to, as an exchange, to be able to compliant, uh, be compliant from day one. 
Mm -hmm. um, so uh, if we are only, um, and, and, and imagine like if you as a platform wants to uh, settle equities or you know money market fund or different type of traditional assets in the future, um, you need to be clean from the beginning. And um, at the same time, to do that, you need to have as many different types of clients um, expanding into, uh, I guess, non-crypto native clients. Um, and, and to be able to do so, we, we, we are uh, ensuring that we are being regulated from day one and also being compliant uh, to be day, uh, from day one. And, and, and some of the, I guess, achievements that we were able to um, show are, you know, clients like Galaxy Digital are, are um, already signed up to be our main client along with low traders who typically wouldn't trade on uh, pure decentralized venues. So, um, exactly. so these things actually prove that... Um, uh, our strategy um, it potentially will be able to attract more user base down the line. I mean, I, I guess what we are thinking is this: like we we see we see blockchain as a technology that can um, be leveraged to uh, improve or enhance the traditional financial system, right? Uh, I also come from traditional backgrounds where I used to be a trader at Goldman. So, um, looking at the inefficiencies that they have, um, um, the technology is. Uh, quite eye-opening, right? And and we want to be able to leverage this technology to um, help enhance that uh, across multiple assets. So it doesn't have to be always crypto. And I think we, as crypto traders, um, if we want this crypto market to grow, uh, I, I think it also means that we, we need to ensure that the, the, the underlying asset class has to expand. Um, mm -hmm. and, and the, I guess the outreach of blockchain as a technology should uh, expand bigger than what we are right now, uh, and be able to also address different types of clients expanding, um, wider from just pure crypto native firms or individuals. So I, I think that's what, where our ethos comes from to ensure that we want to be, uh, regulated and compliant from day one. Great. Um, so Hong, I was wondering, uh, about what is the relationship between gravity, zk sync, and, and matter labs? Sure. Um, well, I, I guess we all know that um, zk sync is founded by um, matter labs. So let's assume that they're the that they're the same. And um, what gravity is doing is um, we've created our own application chain. So you could think of it as a gravity's own private chain leveraging zk sync technology. Um, so what we really liked about ZK Sync's technology is um, many things, but um, key things would be like it's cheap gas cost and high transactions per second. Um, but at the same time, it's technology to offer on-chain privacy through Validiums. Um, so our history goes all the way back to around um, early of 2023 uh, when we were first building this. And... Um, um, we were looking at all the, um, I guess, layer two providers out there uh, during that period of time to look for a technology that can achieve uh, on-chain privacy, but at the same time offer a very secure and fast and cheap, uh, uh, I guess, a, a system or, or, or layer two function for us to leverage to build gravity action. And um, ZK Sync was the only one uh, of the two that were able to offer such technology, and 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 we saw that ZK Sync was a little bit more superior than the other uh, uh, provider in terms of um, its tech stack and its roadmap. So therefore, we decided to um, work with ZK Sync. So, um, okay. so and on top of that, uh, Meta Labs uh, invested into Gravity. Um, in our very early stage seed round, it, it is mutually helpful um, yeah. for us to be able to uh, hopefully grow that ecosystem with um, a lot of institutional uh, volume that comes through and um, increasing that TPS sure. uh, for, for ZK Sync, but at the same time benefiting from their technology. Mm -hmm. Any chance for, from Gravity to become a, a multi-chain support in a while in some point of the roadmap? Or? Yeah, so I guess um, that's a very good question. So for Gravity, um, I, I think the, the purpose is to be able to uh, service as many users as possible across different type of chains. So that is our goal. Okay. To achieve that, you have uh, multiple ways of doing it. Um, in the future, yes, we could potentially look into doing a multi-chain, um, but our focus right now is to be able to allow multiple um, users across different chains to be able to 
excess gravity from its chains. So um, henceforth, one, one, one way of doing that is through uh, cross-chain bridging mm -hmm. and allowing and creating a bridging UX that is so seamless that you don't actually have to feel like you're moving funds from another chain into gravity. So let's think about an example in, in, in a central exchange. Yeah. You are moving funds from one central exchange to another central exchange by leveraging different type of networks, mm -hmm. right? So what Gravity wants to do is to be able to allow the same UX uh, within this ecosystem of uh, Gravity app chain um, for you to really be able to deposit funds across chain without having that, um, that, that friction. And to eliminate that friction, you need to eliminate gas costs. Um, and be able to transfer without gas with just pure native tokens that you, you want to deposit, such as USDT. So I guess uh, we already have created, uh, alongside one of our partners, a very unique bridging uh, flow that uh, no other DEXs have, which allows that. Um, so I think this is something that we will be able to showcase, hopefully in the next three weeks, uh, to all our users, uh, and you will be able to test it out. But um, yes, to answer your question, I think that is one of the ways for us to... Uh, eliminate friction and allow uh, multiple different type of users uh, you know, across different chains to be able to use gravity. Yeah, that's great. Uh, so Sometimes uh, protocols forget about user experience a lot. So having a seamlessly bridging functionality in what it looks like a centralized exchange, but it's not actually a centralized exchange. It would be something new in the in, in crypto. Yeah. Okay, Hong, so I wanted to ask you if you could tell us a little bit more about the dates, about the mainnet, um, and what we can expect of that launch. Sure. Um, so as you may already know, we've been building this for quite a long time. Um, so roughly about a year and a half. So um, we are now nearing our mainnet launch. As we know, uh, we are already in our open beta testnet phase. So we've been working hard to ensure that um, the system is uh, scalable and efficient and um, bugless and, and and secure. So um, we're nearly done with all this. Um, so our mainnet is right around the corner. It's actually going to be in November. Um, the exact date will be uh, announced hopefully by end of October. And um, we'll be uh, sharing a countdown for all our community to be aware when the exact date is. But um, yes, it will be um, November. Great. That is an awesome confirmation. Um, can, can we talk a little bit about tokenomics of the CRBT token? How is this this token going to uh, function on the ecosystem? Sure. Um, so I, I guess um, we have uh, slotted quite a decent amount of our whole token uh, nomics or well, we'll pool into the reward side, and um, we have we will be uh, minting uh, a total of uh, two billion tokens um, as a whole. Um, and out of that, over 30% will be um, allocated to the full reward pool. Now, the exact amount and um, the, the exact utility of this is going to be announced more uh, a few months after mainnet, um, because mm -hmm. we do want to make sure that we have a very, um, I guess, well-designed uh, tokenomics. And um, rest assured, it will definitely be... Uh, uh, announced hopefully uh, in the first few months of uh, 2025. Now, what I can reveal is that uh, we have slotted in or allocated a total of 11% uh, of gravity token pool, um, the total supply, um, as part of the initial season one reward pool. So um, this reward, if I if I may just uh, explain to you a little bit about the reward itself, um, we will be allocating this 11% to our community uh, from the first day of mainnet launch. Now, um, you will be able to uh, farm these uh, tokens by participating in three different uh, programs. So one is something called an ecosystem reward, and two is a trader reward, and then three is a market maker reward. So um, the ecosystem reward is um, allowing users to be able to farm gravity tokens uh, by inviting traders. Um, and uh, what that means is if I am, you know, a, I guess, a, a, a mediocre trader that don't trade enough volume to be able to farm as much tokens as, as, as let's say, a whale or even an institutional uh, uh, client, 
And, but at the same time, I know a lot of different traders and help this ecosystem grow, can help it, this ecosystem grow, then you will also be eligible for the, these type of tokens. So that's the whole design of this to be able to reward retail users who may not be um, you know, very avid traders, but want to be part of the ecosystem to help this ecosystem grow. Mm -hmm. So we have slotted about 3% of Gravity tokens for this whole pool mm -hmm. for season one. Um, and all you have to do is invite traders and um, ensure, well, help Gravity to push these traders to trade a little bit more on Gravity, then uh, you will be able to accrue uh, these points. Mm -hmm. um, and then two is the trader reward. The trader reward is simply put, um, the more you trade, the more you pay to Gravity in terms of your fees, you will be offset it with um, um, the, the Gravity points, i.e. Gravity tokens that will be distributed uh, every ebook. Um, and then the third one is the market maker reward pool. Um, so this one is where um, if you want to be a market maker, you can uh, make your application and you will also be able to um, uh, accrue gravity tokens by placing maker orders onto the platform and providing liquidity to the exchange itself. Okay. Um, so as a whole, we will be allocating 11% of gravity tokens um and and this will be distributed um from mainnet onwards now um of course the until we um actually place your the tokens into your account as you can imagine this is a a farming phase of points um because until tge happens um it is very difficult for us to i guess uh, distribute the so-called tokens itself right so so therefore um you will be able to see within our gravity uh reward page um, the points that you're accruing on every epoch, uh, mm -hmm. and you will be able to um, anticipate how much uh, tokens you'll be earning uh, through these programs. Um, but rest assured, I guess uh, what we wanted to ensure is we wanted to make sure this token is held by as many people as possible. And we wanted to design it in a way that we will be able to um, allow our community members, not just uh, you know institutional traders and, and key uh, whales to hold the tokens. We want it to be um, disseminated to as many user base as possible. So it's designed that way. Um, so even your small contribution will be able to help you uh, get such tokens. Great, that's awesome. Yeah, that is one of the of the big complaints of community airdrop communities that sometimes airdrops are designed only for the whales. So as much as capital that you put in an airdrop, you are rewarded more. But in this case, it's different. And also, I think KYC and many of the things that are required to participate are going to be also helping to avoid bots, for example, and exactly. see goals. So um, I think, yeah, it's it's more dedicated for community. Uh, exactly. And, and and I guess, um, yeah, it, it, as you correctly uh, pointed out, on the flip side of K KYC, it is an actual um, you know, a, 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 the most effective, uh, uh, you know, uh, I guess, uh, filtering against civil. Um, so um, you can expect if you are coming onto gravity and farming points on gravity, uh, and you are a real person that has done KYC, you will be able to uh, earn gravity tokens uh, in a very, very fairly way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned two things that I wanted to ask. One, if do you guys have a, an approximate date of the TCE event of the token? So if mainland is in November, when do you think that it's going to be the launch of the token itself? Well, I, I guess um, I, I want to put it this way. I, we don't have an exact date, um, but it will definitely be in the, um, you know, in 2025 and earlier the better. And I think we all agree. Um, we want to make sure this token is successful, right? And And to achieve success, we need to ensure that uh, we want to have enough uh, active users and total number of users that register on Gravity has to be big. And at the same time, we need to be able to expand the product uh, beyond the just perpetual order book. And um, as I briefly mentioned, we have a lot of different, um, uh, uh, I guess, um, features coming out. Um, and um, we want to ensure that we have all these features laid out um, with uh, enough token utility to ensure that there is an economy created with gravity tokens. Uh, and once we all have that all in place, then we will be looking to launch our tokens. And 
we don't want to just launch tokens for the sake of uh, launching uh, uh, with you know some some major I guess a few few exchanges, and we want to be able to um, really launch it in a way um, that it is it is listed into the top uh, exchanges uh, in day one. So I guess uh, we will be preparing ourselves uh, to ensure that we have a very good launch, and that will be the date. Um, and we'll keep you updated on this. Uh, our community will be updated on our progress, uh, but uh, it's very difficult for us to give you a, uh, I guess, fixed date at, at, as of now. Yeah, it's fine. So my other question is, you mentioned there's an 11% for the season one airdrop. We have these three categories that you mentioned. Um, you also guys launched the Scylla quest. So that is also something that right now is going to give you some reward points. Uh, and you mentioned that you will know how many tokens are you eligible for this airdrop. It's going to be like a conversor of points for tokens in the platform at some point. That yeah, so, okay. So I, I guess maybe I can clarify this. Uh, so if you go into gravity.io, there is a page called rewards. Yeah. Now, um, we are doing a little bit of a revamp on, um, on this whole UI uh, to make sure that it's a little bit easier for our users to see. But ultimately, what we're doing is um, we are offering gravity points, whether it's ecosystem points, trader points, or LP points. There, there's three type of points. Yeah. And you, depending on your, I guess, expertise, what you're good at, whether you're good at uh, building communities and talking to your, uh, and inviting people, are you yeah. good at trading, uh, i.e. making taker trades? Are you good at making market? So depending on that, you can accrue your points. Mm -hmm. And every month uh, after mainnet, we will be locking those points that you've accrued uh, for that month. Perfect. And um, you will be, um, I guess, allocated the amount of tokens that is uh, available for each epoch. And e each epoch, as I mentioned, is month. Oh. Um, so, um, yeah. And then you will be able to convert all of that in one go uh, in TGE. Perfect. And all that is going to be available for you to trade from the day one of uh, TGE. Perfect. Super clear. Perfect. I wanted to ask you, Hong, about uh, the box rarity that we are managing right now on the campaigns page for the airdrop uh, distribution points. Can you tell us what is that about? I know it's a, a random... Um... Oh, you mean the mystery box? Yeah, the mystery box. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Um, look, I, I think um, as you see on our, on our UI, we have gravity rewards. Yeah. And then we will also have uh, in the future ZK Sync rewards, okay. right? And um, you can think of the ZK Sync mystery box as more of a way to boost your incentives within the ZK Sync reward side, so i.e. ZK okay. Sync tokens. So this one is totally separate to our gravity um, reward. So you could think of it as a, a, a more of a bonus pool of, of rewards that you'll be earning um, through this uh, campaign. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, that's okay, Hong. Um... What are the plans for CRVT for the rest of the year? You commented many things, the main launch in November, but for the rest of the year and 2025, what we can expect right now in terms of roadmap? Sure. Um, so for 2024, um, you know, the, the biggest event is going to be <clears throat> the November mainnet. Um, so during this mainnet, we'll be launching our perpetual order book. Um, we are still debating whether we will go live with uh, 20 pairs or 10 pairs, but um, it will definitely be uh, enough pairs for our initial users to be able to trade. And um, we will be looking to expand the number of pairs as quickly as possible to 45 and within a matter of months. Now, uh, that's the perpetual order book. And um, by early of 2025, uh, in the first quarter uh, or within the second, first half, I would say, uh, we're looking to expand into options trading. And um, when we are expanding to options, we focus on two things. One is, um, you know, order book trading for uh, retail to be able, and institutions to be able to trade options uh, efficiently. But at the same time, create a separate UI for our uh, individual users to be able to um, trade options or leverage the benefits of options uh, much more easily. So at, at the moment, 
um, the key concerns or I guess limitations of the options market within crypto is that it's very difficult to use, meaning um, it is very difficult for an ordinary uh, person to leverage options as a hedging tool or even an investment product. Um, so our goal is to be able to um, uh, visualize uh, the front end side of the, um, the the trading experience to to make it significantly easier for anyone to trade options. So that's uh, another very uh, key feature that we're looking to launch. And this also will be uh, for not for just options, but also for perpetual and high leverage trading. So um, that's that's another thing that's coming out. And then following that, uh, as I mentioned, the the focus for us, our aspiration is to ensure that we offer a venue for our individual or, or anyone uh, that's trading gravity to be able to uh, interact with financial products more uh, easily and efficiently through blockchain trustlessly. Mm -hmm. So um, our, our next step would be also to launch uh, vaults and um, these vaults will not just be holding um, you know, crypto only assets uh, and strategies, but also be able to offer you different types of um, investable products that covers uh, a wide array of uh, different um, strategies uh, that expand beyond crypto um, and um, allow, and the main purpose of that is to allow individuals to be able to earn uh, and make money uh, more trustlessly and risk-free uh, and, and, and have as many opportunities as possible. So, um, and this is all achievable if you, if you create a venue uh, leveraging blockchain as much as you can. So I, I think this is something that will be quite interesting in the first half of 2025. Super exciting news. A lot of things to do, but you are going to finish this 2024 with, with many things already launched with the mainnet. Yes. Yes, of course. And, and, and sorry, I forgot to also mention that um, we also have our mobile application launching at the same time in November. So um, if you're an avid trader, then you don't have to only be trading through the web. We also have the mobile app coming live at the same time as mainnet. That's great. Super important for traders. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, Hong, thank you very much for being here, uh, for all this amazing information. I think we have alpha news and dates for the airdrop and the launching that nobody knows. So this is Super great to have this, uh, this news on my channel. And thank you for being here. No worries. And thank you very much uh, for having me on this call. And um, uh, hopefully uh, we can uh, touch base again and have another uh, second video in the future. Thank sure. you. Sure. Yeah. Thank you very much. And bye. Yeah, bye. -bye.